Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP. Uh, this video is going to be in my iPhone video, and what this is is just me showing you what I have in my iPhone. I have a jailbroken iPhone 4, and I wanted to uh, just share the contents um, of what I've done with it, it being a jailbroken iPhone, um, things that you know you, can't, you couldn't do um, if you had a normal iPhone. You know, maybe this will help you um, decide whether or not you want a jailbreak. Uh, it'll help you decide uh, what apps to get, what not to get, what apps you should pay for. Um, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the first thing I have is the Android lock, and I really enjoy this. It's a smooth, um, simple lock screen, and um, that's much different than the Apple lock screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This is how you you just create a design, um, and it'll unlock your screen. And you can do that in settings. Uh, you would just go into settings, and then go into Android lock. But I want to save time, so I'm just going to uh, go into the next the next thing that I want to talk about. I'm not going to open all these apps. I'm pretty much just going to tell you on what they are, describe them. If you uh, need to know more information, you want to know how to get it, um, you want to know how well it works, on what it works, so on and so forth, just c comment and I'll um, or send me a message, and I'll definitely 100% I will get back to you. I promise. Um, so Winterboard, obviously, if you uh, if you've heard about Jailbreak and you've heard about Winterboard, it is an application that allows you to uh, change the way your iPhone looks, the icons, um, pretty much anything. You could change the way your text messaging looks, uh, your lock screen, um, backgrounds and apps and settings and Cydia and Winterboard. I mean, you could change everything. There's, there's pretty much a tweak for every single thing visually on the iPhone. Right next to the Winterboard is PJNet, and what that does, it creates it makes uh, your iPhone into a uh, wireless hotspot um, so you could um, work off your um, 3G or Wi-Fi um, I believe actually it's just 3G or maybe just Wi-Fi I'm not really sure I'm just trying to I'm trying to let you guys know it turns your phone into a wireless hotspot Rock is an uh, application it's an uh, alternative to Cydia um, there are a few applications that are Rock only applications that you can only download from Rock um, so if you go into the information of an application, you scroll down and it says rock only in like a little red bar um, or green bar or something, um, that means that you have to uh, download rock or install rock and then um, install the program from rock. After we have iFile, I, what iFile is, is it's a program that allows you to, um, you know, go into your the contents of your iPhone and delete or remove or manipulate or, uh, uh, could I believe... You can do some editing, text editing, in uh, iFile as well. Uh, 3G Unrestricted is a very, very, very useful app. I'm sure a lot of you guys will uh, be interested. If you don't know what this is, you'll be very interested in hearing about it. If you have FaceTime or um, any app that requires you to be on Wi-Fi to use, this app will not require you to be on Wi-Fi. It will take away that restriction. It will take away the 3G um, restriction, so you will be able to use it on all the, um, on all 3G, whatever it is. Um, I'll uh, open it up and I'll show you guys the apps that I have. So on here I have the App Store, iChatter, um, iTunes, um, FaceTime, and Skype. Um, Skype, I believe, does work on 3G now. But um, all, all of these have different restrictions to make it so you can only um, use it on Wi-Fi. What 3G makes it so you can use it on 3G as well. So that is obviously a very, very, very useful app. And uh, if you want to know any information about it, like I said, just to, um, comment or uh, send me a message. Uh, the next thing is Screen Splitter. And what Screen Splitter is, what I use it for, um, I believe you could use this for a uh, some kind of TV and now um, transferring your screens to TV, I think that you can use it for that. But what I use it for is iDemo, and pretty much this, right now I can see it's on, and it's on because I'm making this video right now. I'm putting my iPhone screen up onto the computer so I can create a better, um, more clear visual for you guys to see what's going on, and screen Split allows me to do that. I'm not sure how it works, you know, I'm not down into the technical part of it, but it works and it works well, and um, you just have to download iDemo. And, uh, yep, that's it. The next thing is Boss Paper. Now, I haven't used Boss Paper a lot, um, but if you want to use a background 
some wallpaper or something from Sia, and it has block paper in it, you do need the app. Um, it did mess with my phone a little bit. Um, a couple times, it, it just wouldn't work. It was, it was putting, I would check off a wallpaper for, um, the home screen, and it would put it on my, uh, folders background it, it was just kind of kind of buggy so i'm not going to recommend to download that right now but um it is a good application for those who don't have an iphone 4 i would recommend downloading it for everybody who doesn't have an iphone 4 it does work well but on my iphone 4 it does not work that well the next thing is byte msns and i know this looks kind of funny i don't know why for some reason it won't curve that it won't curve tell me if you guys have this problem too paid a lot of money for this app and uh I don't know why it, it does this, uh, but what this does, it allows you to um, send and reply to text messages within any application, and I'll go ahead and show you guys, uh, I'll give you a little example of that. So what I do is I press the volume button, and then I tap that volume button, and it'll, this little screen will pop up, and I'll be able to send text message to anyone I want to, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that it also works inside of an application open up uh, YouTube and I'll go ahead and show you press that, press that and bam it pops up right inside of YouTube and you can just either press the home button or if it acts up there and uh, it'll go away so obviously that's a very useful application as well um, it has many different customizations when it comes to text messaging. Um, it has emoji or whatever you want to call it. Um, and just, you know, it has more settings. It has a lot more settings. You can do a lot more things. Um, I like it. I enjoy using it. It definitely has replaced my normal text messaging uh, application. So the next one is Wi-Fi Sync. And this is a very, very, very cool application. And now that they have the app synchronized, synchronization, I believe the app's called, or synchronizing or something like that, in Cydia, which allows you to use your phone while it's syncing to your computer, um, this app is very is, is very useful combined with that application, because now you don't have to have your phone plugged in, and you can use it while you're doing that, so you could be syncing, you know, and, you know, not even know it. I mean, you have to know it, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, it completely takes the, you know, usability, um, it, it takes it back, and you are able to use your iPhone now, you know, while syncing or upgrading or whatever it's doing. Probably not upgrading, but, you know, syncing. <laughs> um, but what I wanted, do want to say about Wi-Fi Sync is that I'm having um, a problem with the new iTunes. Every time I turn my computer on, um, it gives me an application that says your iPhone won't be able to sync with iTunes unless you remove Wi-Fi Sync from your computer, because you have to download a program um, from of the website to your computer to make it work as well. Now, I have been able to sync my iPhone with um, iTunes 10, so um, the message wasn't, you know, wasn't telling the truth, but I did find it odd that now that I have iTunes 10, it's telling me that I have to remove Wi-Fi sync from my computer. I thought it was very odd. It didn't affect it. Um, I did use Wi-Fi sync. It worked. So, um, yeah, just wanted to uh, let you guys know, don't be scared if, if that does happen to you as well if you have an iPhone 4. Or if you have iTunes 10, should I say. Um, so the next thing, I'm going to go away from the apps right now. I'm going to show you um, my background. And um, as you can see right now, um, my background is on this like nice little indigo color. So I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the app right here, Glow BG. And what this app is, is it allows you to create um, glowing backgrounds for um, your wallpaper. And as you see, it opens right here. You just swipe left or right, and you can go to different um, wallpapers. This is the first part of the application. So you want to pick this nice picture of space. And then you go pick your pattern. And it has all these different um, patterns. They line up the ones that are um, squares and stuff. They line up perfectly with the apps. These ones line up perfectly um, in between them and under them. It looks really cool. I'll create one uh, just so you guys can see what, what it looks like. So I'll already click that. And I'll take, uh, see what take that. I'll take another color. Uh, something like, well, that goes kind of good with it. And then after that, you just press save image. 
and it's and it's saved to your folder. So let's open the settings app. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, open the settings app. Uh, wallpaper, uh, camera roll, select your wallpaper, set on home screen. It's that easy. Um, and it's a very cool, nice way to make your phone look different. I don't need a jailbroken phone to use this, but I think it was really cool, and I did want to let you guys know about it. Uh, so the next thing um, that I'm going to show you guys is um, SB settings and a couple cool things that I have inside there. So, obviously, if you know if uh, you know about SB settings, you know that it comes with a bunch of these toggles: um, 3G, uh, Bluetooth, brightness, data, fast notes, location and so on and so forth, but um, a couple of these 3G unrestrictor, PDA, remove background, um, those don't come with it, and uh, PDA net is on the top where you can turn on and off, so uh, you don't have to go into the application every time you want to use it, but what, the one I really wanted to show you is um, remove background, and what this is, is an application that allows you to remove all of the apps that you have running in your multitasking bar at once. You no longer have to double click and you know hold on them and exit and exit and add all of them you know one after another. If you forget for two days, you have 40 apps in your multitasking bar. It's going to be a pain you know to end them all. It's going to take a minute or two, and sometimes you know you just don't want to do it. And it does, as you can see on the bottom right there, available memory 265. That will go up when you remove your background apps. It will. Um, it. Sometimes I'll have tabs running in the background, and that available memory will be all the way down to like 150. And then I'll put it back up, and it'll way up all the way to 300. So, it's a very useful app to have. It's quick, it's easy, it works very well. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that it works right now. Um, I, I do have another um, another video that shows it's working, and the way that it shows that it's working is it ends um, um, the splitter app that I have. So, um, the screen goes black and ends the application so the i demo doesn't work anymore because I end it. And that's how I how you guys, you know, can know that it's working because it's ending that application that's in the background. But yeah, that's what I want to show you in SB settings and it's in Cydia to search SB settings and download. It's very useful. You can adjust your brightness, turn Bluetooth on, all these different things all from right here. You don't have to go into settings to do it. So that is it guys, that's all, that's what I wanted to show you, I wanted to give you a little taste of, um, Jailbroken Phone and what the good apps, the cool apps that you can have, what you can do, um, you know, just no little taste of, of what you can do with, uh, with, you know, a good Jailbroken Phone. So that is it, um, comment below, just let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys later.